Guys, I got a grizzly eagle shark. <laughs> Tattooed on my back! Well, no, not really. But I would. Seriously, I got a grizzly eagle shark! T-shirt! No, no I didn't. But seriously though, I got a grizzly eagle shark! Okay, well... Only if you consider this little guy a grizzly eagle shark. I know, right? You're already my BFF. Okay, so I know most of you guys must have been sitting in front of your computer all day, open to your YouTube homepage, constantly refreshing your browser, just anxiously awaiting my video about why I like coral so much. And oddly enough, part of the reason is the same reason why I love vlogging. Okay, so in the hobby there is a process called fragging. Basically all you have to do is take a colony of a particular coral, cut off a small piece of it, and then just transplant it onto another rock, and that piece will continue to grow. And this is just a really, really cool and fun part of the hobby for two main reasons. Reason number one, it helps build the reef keeping community. These aquariums are expensive, and it's expensive to maintain them, and it's expensive to get new coral. And if I'm any example at all, high prices do not deter low income enthusiasts. So fragging becomes particularly exciting when you have like a community of people around you also doing it, because you can begin to share and trade corals with other people and have a tank that's just full of all different types of coral. Then comes reason number two. Fragging basically exploded in the reefing community and people started to just hone in on the water parameters in their tank so specifically that they were able to create conditions that in some instances may even be better than that of the ocean. So their corals would start to morph and develop these new colors that I, I have never seen in the ocean. And as I said, this hobby is insanely expensive. So as people started to develop these coral morphs that were unlike any other that anyone had ever had. People started selling frags to people in their local reefing community and even across the country to fellow forum members. I've seen this practice evolve to the point where one coral frag from a particular mother colony that one guy owned were selling for up to $1,500 a frag. And that's not like one guy in a bidding war on eBay paid that much for it. That was the going rate for like six months. And after that initial burst, it did start to drop off to about $750 to $1,000 for one like pinky nail sized frag. And in one of my client's tanks I have that same type of coral, not that particular morph, but I've got one that started to take off. So I started to take pictures of it every couple weeks to show its growth. Basically this particular coral has taken off over the past two months and each of those little green dots is considered an eye. To frag this particular type of coral you only have to have one eye in order for the frag to survive. Now the colony I was talking about before was selling for $1,500 an eye, and this particular coral would probably only fetch about $3 to $4 an eye. But either way, in about two months, this coral has practically doubled in price, and to me, that is extremely exciting. And this phenomenon is pretty much what did it to me. That is how I got sucked in bad. I had already been really into aquariums, but this was just fueling my motivation to keep my aquariums pristine, and it served as a mechanism for sustenance. Okay, so I hope that wasn't totally boring and since what's your favorite frag is not exactly applicable to this particular audience what should I name my puppy? Hey. Leave it in the towel section down below and Jay I will see you on Monday. Also I'm intentionally not commenting on your dance moves except I just did.